we've been playing Ravenfield for a very, very long time. We've played all kinds of different maps. The most watched video at 10 million views, we used Nerf weaponry. We've used Nerf weaponry on skyscrapers. We've had aircraft carrier escort missions in World War II. We've even done green army men at D-Day. Shoot, we've done regular D-Day. We've even fought at the Battle of Hoth and on top of the Avengers Helicarrier. And probably the biggest and craziest thing, we have fought a boss airplane. And one of my personal favorites, we went into a biologically contaminated area and fought off zombies. Tons and tons of fun in Ravenfield. Never have I done what we're about to do today. Fought on a moving train. Look at this. This is one of the first moving maps, like, and you may be asking yourself, hey Baron, what, what happens if you jump off? Well, uh, I could jump off, or I think better yet, for scientific purposes, what we need to do is find an unwilling participant in our scientific study to see what exactly happens if you fall off the tree. And by the tree, I mean the train. Oh, oh god, I accidentally pushed two of them. Okay, and he's dead. So you poop blueberry jam, and then you fall into the abyss. So that's not something that we want to do. As in, fall off. Now, oftentimes in Ravenfield, you'll get shot, and you'll kind of lose your balance. That would be instant death. Oh, God. Oh, I just shot one guy, and he knocked his friend off. Hey. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a wild and weird and completely new kind of a map, and I absolutely love it. Are guys hiding behind the boxes? Now, let's check the map. I guess we're halfway up the train. So it recommends that you play this. Oh, God. With 12 to 24 bots total. And I'm kind of curious what happens. Well, we're going to ramp this up. I'm going to put like 500 bots in here just to see what happens. I don't think it's going to be good. So the first things first, we got to fully explore this map. You think they're hiding in there? They got to be, right? Hey, don't shoot at me. Oh, God. If I fall off these boards, I'm dead. Uh, I can't see much at all. Hi. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I just turned on regular speed, and it felt like they were going in super speed. Like, oh, hello there, sniper. Where'd he go? He... I thought he killed him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, God, is that a... Is that a friend? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Crow. I don't know what just happened. He hit his head off the door and then slammed into the crate. Let's seal the deal. You guys go first. Uh-oh. You know what happens when you fire a grenade? Hey, how did you get over here? Uh-oh, this is bad. He's probably gonna hit me. Oh, I tried to kick him, but I got shot in the head. Okay, we need a specialized weaponry for this. If we put in shotgun on the workshop and sort by the most subscribed of all time, there are tactical shotguns. Oh my God. Who came up with these guns? There's a Saiga FA which I actually think is this. Full automatic shotgun with a drum mag? I think that's what we need in order to win this. So let's get the Saiga full, FA means fully automatic, of course. But look at some of the other ones. The Unforcer? <laughs> what is that? Oh, I still have the jetpack mod on, okay. Um, we're gonna ask the question, uh, buddy, my, my hand is up there. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but we're just gonna run with it. This is, uh, this is the downside of mods. Oh, cool. Every now and then a train will pass you. I'm gonna jump on it. Oh my God, I got, I evaporated myself. All right, let's spawn. I think we're about to take the middle. Yep, the flag's going up, so I should be able to spawn right here. And which is called boxcar. Okay, so don't mind the hand. How did the guy get up there? Oh my gosh, look at how much like shotgun pellets we can send down range. Ow! Dude, this thing's nuts. All right, I've got 10 rounds left. I gotta remember that just cause it's a drum mag doesn't mean it's like infinite or has like 50 shells in it. But man, this thing is like kicking butt. Hello there. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh my god. 
This is amazing. Oh, jeez, they just... It's like they just keep spawning out of there. All right, I didn't have to reload, but I... Yikes! I chose to. Don't shoot me. Oh my gosh, that guy, like, tried to hit me in the air. Which, I mean, obviously... Uh-oh. This is bad. Please don't fall off that train. Please don't fall off that train. If you fall off that train, we're gonna die. And by we, I mean, it's just me, myself, and I. Which is we, I guess. Oh, I'm actually healing. Oh, that med kit right there. He's keeping me alive. Come on. Please. Survive. Do it. Get to the... Oh, they can't see me because of the smoke. Now, I could see them, though, because I'm not artificially intelligent. You know, I gotta stop talking crap about the AI. Because when the AI takes over, they might be like, Well, Baron, we have... Uh, adjudicated your life and we've watched a lot of your videos on YouTube yeah they last forever and buddy you talked mad crap about us and now you gotta go we're gonna turn you into a human battery all because I played Ravenfield and so many other video games that needed work on the AI but still I think it's fair to say that like I talk about Ravenfield's AI because I love this game it's one of like my favorite games and you know like how sometimes really good friends talk crap about each other? That's just me in good old Ravenfield AI. It's part of the charm though. Huh. Oh no, don't fall off! <laughs> oh no. Okay, I thought I was just gonna be able to like walk through this level and win. I think what we need is how about, God, some of these guns just look amazing, but they may have just been like ripped from like another video game. And kind of how it looks. Like, if my hand is sticking up on this one, then we got the wrong weapons pack. Oh, hello. All right, this thing has a fast rate of fire even in slow motion. Not the most accurate, but... Oh, and it's infinite. It's like the heavy machine gun. So all we have to do is not overheat the gun. And we should be fine. And I should be able to just, like, take this myself. No! I got shot by someone further. Oh, he was at the back. Oh, God. Okay. L I mean, I've got 29 kills. I've died four times, but my KD ratio is pretty good. Granted, like I said, I'm fighting bots, so that's kind of to be expected. If only I could get all of my AI minions to use this gun, too. Oh, my God. I just ran into all of them. I've got 51 health left. Someone put a, a slug right in my stomach, and I'm dead. I thought this would be easy. So we have fought with 24. There are 12 of us on either team. The enemy team, the highest number of kills is seven. Let's ramp this up a little bit. We're gonna go with 200 bots. We're gonna change the spawn count to seven. And against my better judgment, we're gonna play it and see how the Arsenal Express, the name of this map, how it plays out. I, I, I'm curious what, oh. My goodness, my frames are actually decent. God, I love this new computer. Oh, and I'm dead. But Baron, weren't you talking crap about the AI being stupid? But look at you, you fell off a train. Yep, you're right. <laughs> I am kind of dumb too. Maybe I need a, a firmware upgrade. Maybe one day you're gonna be able to like put a, like, a USB drive into your head or just plug yourself into the mainframe and, whoa, I know Kung Fu. Oh man. I just lean my head out this window, and yeah, there's a few friendly kills in there, but I've already got eight. The amount of reload animations and sounds going through my ears hurt my brain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I don't know what just happened. It could be friendly fire. Somehow I'm healing as bullets are flying by my head. This is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, this map is awesome. It's made for 12 to 24, but it also works for a million. Oh god, don't fall down there. Oh! Wow. I don't have the most kills. So... Huh. Oh, that's cool. You can jump back and forth. Oh, make sure to wishlist Stickman Trench Wars on Steam today. Use the link in the video description. And back to our regularly scheduled programming of Ravenfield is awesome. Hey, I should be able to get up here, right? Oh, did I shoot the thing? I shot the thing and the bullets bounced back and killed me. Unbelievable. That's kind of awesome. All right, so what we're going to do is go to spectator mode and just see the absolute chaos. Okay, this is kind of wild. Look at this. I feel like I'm a drone. Oh, 
my goodness. So that's 100 bots. And in these close confines, another 100. Can you imagine if this battle took place in real life? How absolutely insane it would be? I mean, luckily no one's using explosives, but like one grenade and you get like 10 people. I'm not sure if it's balanced because blue sure seems to be able to take the middle point very, very quickly. Now, unlike other games like Rise of Liberty or, or other ones similar to that, I can't just zoom in on a guy and I can follow him, but I can't choose to, I can't be him. I can't take over his life. It's just, it's just absolute chaos. So this is an aerial view. Oh, you can have two trains passing at any one time. That is awesome. This is a very, very cool map. So this is just something that like, we've sort of had a moving map. Uh oh, whoa. <laughs> Like in convoy escort missions, but not in like regular ones where we're serving as an infantryman, much less on a moving train. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on that like button and let me know if you'd like to see more and wishlist Stickman Trench Wars on Steam today. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.